Good afternoon, I'm Kristen Feigl. And I'm Hiba Rahman, and this is Wolfpack News for Tuesday, September 9th, 2014. The homecoming dance is October 11th. Any student planning to attend with a guest who is not an OE student must turn in a guest pass to the Dean's Office. Guest passes can be found in the Dean's Office or online and must be turned in by October 1st, no exceptions. Aurora East High School is hosting the National Hispanic College Fair on Wednesday, October 1st from 9 to 10.20 a.m. There will be more than 50 colleges and universities represented. Go down to Student Services for more information. The PSAT will be offered here at East on Saturday, October 18th. The PSAT is an optional test. If you'd like to sign up, go to Student Services. The test fee is $20, and now it's time for entertainment. Here's Logan. The 10th annual Crosstown Challenge football game will be held at OEHS on October 3rd. Pick up a Navy Long Sleeve Memorial Crosstown t-shirt at the Commons Concession Stand before school Tuesday through Friday while supplies last for $15. That's the latest in entertainment news. Now back to the Anchor Desk. Any sophomore interested in being a part of Sophomore Class Committee should come to the first meeting next Monday after school in E392. Bring ideas for a t-shirt design for Class Color Day during Homecoming Week. Contact Mrs. Newton with questions. The First League of United Latin, Latin American Citizens meeting will be held next Wednesday after school in J107. If you have any questions, see Joe Sanchez or Daisy, o Daisy Osagira. German Club will meet today after school from 2.40 to 3.45 in room J102. See Frau Hogg with any questions. The National Art Honor Society's first meeting is today in room B270. Mrs. O'Mara Croft will pass out all the information you'll need to join. This is open to any sophomores, juniors, and seniors who have taken or are taking an art class. Spanish Club will meet today in room J113 to discuss future meetings and activities. Any questions? See Mrs. Chavarria. Student Services is proud to announce the 7th Annual College Fair next Monday during the school day. All sophomores and seniors will attend. There are over 60 colleges and four branches the of the military represented. All grade levels are invited to attend college visits this week through the end of September for Ball State, Notre Dame, Iowa Wesleyan, Ferris State, Yale, U of I, Robert Morris, Marquette, Kent, Kent State, and Truman University. See Mrs. Weber in the College and Career Center to sign up. If you're looking for service hours, Boulder Hill Elementary School has several events coming up and they need volunteers. Go to Student Services to sign up. Talk leadership applications are available for pickup in Student Services. Visit Student Services with any questions. French Club's first meeting is today after school from 2.30 to 3 in J104. They will be discussing activities for the new school year. And now it's time for sports. Here's Miranda. There will be a brief informational meeting next Monday after school in the Commons for any girls interested in playing powder puff football and boys interested in coaching. Please see Mrs. Kyrus if you have any questions. The sophomore Wolves football team improved to two wins and zero losses last Friday with a 27-0 win over Glenbard East. The Wolves were highlighted by two long touchdown runs by Tyron Bailey, two field goals by Chase Bruns, and a defensive touchdown by Chase Tullett. This Friday, the sophomores begin their conference season with a game against Plainfield North at home. Come out today and support the girls' tennis team against their conference rivals, Plainfield North. The Oswego girls' swimming and diving dive team won first place in the Lockport Porter Invitational last Saturday. First place relays in the event were the 200-yard freestyle and the 3-by-100-yard breaststroke relay. This is the first time in several years that Oswego has won this Invitational. There will be a meeting and an open gym for any girl interested in playing basketball today after school in the K-Wing gym. Be ready to work out. After school strength and conditioning is being offered Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 2.40 to 4 p.m. Anyone is welcome to attend and get in shape. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Kristen Feigl. And I'm Hibba Rahman. Join us again tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.